What's up everybody, this is Lyle with Don't Hit Me Barbecue, and what I'm going to be doing today is going to be a chicken stir fry, and what's going to kind of make this stir fry a little different is that I'm going to be using some zucchini noodles, and I got this idea from another YouTube channel, actually two YouTube channels, I saw Booger 500 US do it, and I saw Surf and Sapo do it, so anyway, they have some great channels, check them out, but anyway, that's going to be the change. Now I'm also have some other vegetables, but the first thing I need to do, we're about three hours away from when I'm gonna start hooking it up. So what I wanna do is get my chicken marinated. What I wanna do is bring you guys in to kinda of look at what my marinade is, then we'll go One from there. The reasons that I like shopping at my Asian market is you can find all different kind of stuff that you can't find in regular stores, and it's a lot cheaper. The first ingredient, which I've already added because it's kinda of thick and it takes a while to pour out, is some of this sweet soy sauce. This was $2.90 for the bottle. Uh, so I've already added that. We have some rice, rice cooking wine. This was $1.99 for the bottle, so that's a good uh, value right there. We're just gonna add just a little bit to that. If this is just kinda optional, if you don't have that, don't worry about it. And then we have some soy sauce. This bottle of soy sauce here, I think I might have paid $2.20 for that. So a bigger bottle than you would get if you go to your regular grocery store. We're going to go ahead and add some of that. So that's pretty much it. That's what I'm going to marinate it in. If I could get this thing shut, there we go. Stir this in. <clears throat> And we're going to let this marinate for about three hours. Once we're done with that, we're going to get these vegetables hooked up and you're going to see some other great values that I got at my Asian market. Okay, so the chicken is draining off some of that marinade. Basically what we're going to be using for this stir fry are some green peppers I have sliced up kind of thinly. Uh, some snow peas. Now when you buy these snow peas, the larger ones have a little rib that runs across the back. So if you just snap it and then pull. You can pull off some of that uh, fibery backside of that. So I did that. We're going to get to the carrots and the zucchini here in a little bit. Uh, I have some minced garlic, some minced ginger, jalapenos uh, sliced, and uh, thinly sliced mushrooms. Use whatever kind you want. I'm just using regular mushrooms. And then broccoli cut to whatever size you want. And then some thinly sliced uh, celery. So that's that. So one thing we're going to want to do is kind of thicken this sauce up, you know, once we get cooking it. So I have some chicken stock in here. I'm going to go ahead and add some cornstarch to it, some of this sweet soy sauce. And I had that pre-poured because that's kind of thick uh, and it's just a little hard to pour right out of the bottle. And then we're going to add about three tablespoons of soy sauce and then we're just going to mix this up. Now my chicken, my chicken I have, I have like I said I have that draining off right now. We're gonna do something with that but let's get to this uh, what I'm gonna do with the carrots and the uh, zucchini. What we're gonna be doing is replacing the noodles with these uh, this zucchini. So I bought this little gadget on uh, Amazon I think for like six or seven dollars and basically there's there's better ones out there but all you basically have to do is put the zucchini in twist it and it's gonna give you these like little noodle things now the carrots we don't necessarily need to do the carrots like that but I really like to have my carrots kind of thinly cut so I'll just show you kind of how the carrots are going to look. So they don't necessarily need to be cut in a spiral like this. It just makes them thinner, almost like julianza or something. So I'm going to finish all this up and we'll get on this chicken. Now basically for this chicken, I do want it to be a little bit crisp, so I'm just going to throw this marinated chicken and I don't have anything in this cornstarch just plain because this chicken's been sitting in marinade for a while but we're just gonna 
basically coat it with uh, this cornstarch before we get it into the skillet. So now we've got this chicken, we've got it coated in cornstarch. Just wanted to show you guys what my stir fry oil is going to be right there. You know, there's a channel I want you guys to run and stop by. His, uh, the name of his channel is called The Root Boy Cooks. And he swears by this saying, stir fry oil. You know, you could just buy that at any old regular store. If you want to go buy this, you're going to be in a grocery store where English is not the first language. Anyway, check out Sal The Root Boy Cooks. Uh, let's get over to the stove. Let's get this chicken in here. I could have had this pan a little bit hotter, but we'll be all right. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a link to the Root Boy Cooks down in the uh, description and in the iCard above. He's knocking out some good food, drinking a lot of beer. Head on this chicken, have it kind of browned on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and remove that and just set it aside for now. Then we'll get our vegetables in. Throwing in. Some of these vegetables. And I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. What I want to do is just kind of reduce this down a little bit before I add these uh, zucchini noodles to it. Down a little bit, not a lot, but let's go ahead and add our zucchini noodles to it. And then I just want to add them now because I don't want these vegetables to be overcooked. But this should cook down pretty far without overcooking the vegetables. I turn the I turn the the uh, stove down to. Uh, medium low. So as that cooks down, I'm going to kind of stir it, you know, just kind of stir it in as we go along. And then I'm going to add the chicken last before we add the sauce since the chicken's all the way cooked. I just want to make sure I don't overcook it. I'm going to go ahead and add this chicken back in. And before I add my sauce, this is just a Asian blend, has sesame seeds and all different kind of other stuff in there. <clears throat> go ahead and add some of that, just some, and now some of that slurry I made with the chicken stock, the sweet soy sauce, the soy sauce. And now I'm going to cook this down for a while, see how we're looking as far as thickness, you know, some moisture should pull out of these. Uh, vegetables at some point so we'll probably just get one more look at this before I plate it up. Final product let's just pull it back and do the taste now test. Time to get this taste test knocked out of the way and since I did mention Sal the Root Boy Cooks you know he's into all that 60s and you know 70s music so me and Head Zeppelin over here <laughs> are gonna get down and do this taste test so dig in get you a little rice and get in some so that Now these noodles, see how they kind of stand up to all that? Treat that just like some spaghetti. I really like this, what do you think? Oh, I think it just came out perfect. Anyway, thanks for stopping by New Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, Check out the Root Boy Cooks, and I'm out.